Walker on this one. I understand, brother. Thank you for your work Thanks today. Thanks for having me on. Come back and see us. Megawatt, I'm going to step out. You get in here with these guys. Yeah, man. All right. Hey, I'm moving aside here. We got some big names. Jet Lawrence, come on over here, buddy. I'm going to move out the way. We'll turn things back over to Megawatt for the 250 Pro Sport Class. All right, Jetson, you got it on there, brother? Yeah. All right. Hey, got uh, Jet Lawrence, your reigning 250cc national champion and upcoming 250A rider on our East Coast, Jack Chambers. Jack, glad to have you guys in. Whoa, what's going on out there already? Holy cow. Let's take a look at the monitor up there, see if we can get an ID on these guys. Right here is our ID list, fellas. Looks, so, like, looks like Gavin Towers out in the lead right now. Is that the number 16 machine? Jack Chambers gives us an ID, and it looks like his style, and sure enough, that is the number 16. Who's in tow? Jack, can you get an ID? Yeah, that's, that's the number that's, 21. That's uh, Chance Hymas there. Chance Hymas. So here we go. Some of the expected players, Jack, up front early in this one. Looks like a star racing Yamaha back in third. Maybe uh, Matt LeBlanc and then uh, Nick Romano. Man, these guys have been strong all week. I know you guys have been hanging out. You've seen the 329, the 411. You've seen all these guys. Look, Jet's got a grin on his face right now. Here come the leaders below us. Jet, what do you make of the track? You haven't been back here since 2018. It, uh, it looks sick right now. The track looks prime. Um, it's uh, it's going to be exciting for the racing, and, and uh, I'm excited to keep on watching this. It's going to get pretty hectic, I think. Absolutely. The pace fast and oh, Chance is in the lead now. Oh, got look him at back. this. Lead change, like you said. Chance Hymas. Gavin Towers in the number two right now. Look at this. LeBlanc moves into the three spot. Nick Romano rides in fourth. Jaden Clough followed by Jeremy Ryan, Aiden Tribe. Jack, several places on this track to pass this week. And nobody has complained about a one-line track. Definitely. And Matt goes right around the outside of Gavin there in the bottom. That's Matt LeBlanc right there in the bright orange they're side by side now. Towers answers back. He grabs a handful up over the Gators' back as they work down into the Gators' tail. This uh, left-hander right here, Jet, it has been critical all yeah. week. There has been races decided in this thing this huh. week. I think they just swapped like three positions in one corner. Now uh, Nick Romano just passed uh, Matt LeBlanc for a third, and now he's almost moving into second past Gavin. And look at this. He got on the rear fender right there. Got a great drive pulling the throttle cable out of that thing. And look as they work down along the road. Oh! Chance is pulling a the gap there a little bit. Yeah, and another another pass there. Was that Towers back into position? No, that's uh, Nick. It looks there. like he's in. Oh, and, and Hymas went down. Yeah, Nick's back in third position right there. And like you said, I believe Hymas in the dirt right now. I, it actually looks like Nick is in the lead. Oh, Nick now, has made it to the lead. So Romano is back in third. These guys yeah. are moving around so quick on us, Jack. And they got those matching kits, too. They got yeah. those matching. It makes it real tough on an old set of eyes like mine. Here we go past the Gizmo Tower. Jet Lawrence, take a look at the line choices down here below us as they lead into the Gator Pit. Look at that corner. Where are you going to go, Jet? Um, I think the same line that Romano probably took <laughs> down looks like the main line there. Burn blasting. Yeah, just straight come in, dump that clutch, and give it some. I got to give it some. I got to tell you, they have relocated that berm like an excavator jet. That thing started about 12 foot inside this morning, and it just keeps getting moved. But great traction everywhere around this Gatorback course. Yeah, it looks like great dirt here. Wow, All right, Romano we're going to send it down, down to 146. We're going to send it down to Wes Kane real quick. He's going to take care of this podium, and we're going to get right back. All right, thanks, Rodney. I'll get it back to you. I'll get back to you real quick. Caden Dudney finishing up third in this championship. Who would you like to thank? My mom, my dad, Team Green Kawasaki, um, Fly Racing, um, um, Dunlop, Pro Circuit, and everyone else I forgot. Thank you. Congratulations, Caden Dudney. Good job out there. Brennan Harrison. Good job. Come on up here, Brennan Harrison. You got him a championship yesterday. Finish up second. It's got to feel pretty good. Who do you want to thank? Jesus for keeping me safe. Mom, Dad, Brad at Club 57, Clover Hill, OGs, FXR, um, Mun Racing, Lynx, and anyone else. Thank you. Congratulations out there. Good job out there. And your champion, 85, 9 to 11. 
motocross champion. He's been waiting on this one all week. Come on up here, Seth Dennis. Congratulations, good job, hold it up high. Who do you want to thank, Seth Dennis? I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my sister, um, Nate Ramsey, Kyle Cheeseman, um, KTM Orangegate, Dunlop, Scott Fox, Pro Taper, FMF, Bill Seekers, Twisted, um, Twisted, Power Band, and everybody else, thank you. Congratulations, Seth Dennis, good job out there. All right, back to you from the Yamaha podium. Take it away, guys. Hunter cross pass. Hey, thanks, Wes Kane. Back in action. Take a look at some of these lap times, Jack. Give us a rundown real quick. We see that we got Ramona LeBlanc and Tower still one, two, and three. Give us a little idea of the gap and what we're looking at on the track. Yeah, so Ramona ended up actually throwing down on 146, I think maybe second lap, and uh, nobody was actually even close other than uh, Matt. So he was throwing a heater there, and uh, now looks like they've kind of got down and worked their way into a, a good flow and running 147 by Matt or by Nick, and uh, Matt's running 148 along with the past the next five guys. So. Hey, Jet, what do you think of the speed that we're looking at? These guys coming up, these guys hungry, exactly, huh? Yeah, these guys are these guys are definitely hooking. The track's pretty, <laughs> still pretty flat in the morning, and uh, they're putting down some heaters right now. You know, every few years you start to see a, a different trend in some of the classes, and I have to tell you, the intensity level right now, the ability for these guys to just put the blinders on, focus, and really bring it. I don't think anybody's out of shape, Jet. I think any, everybody can go the distance. It's a matter of the determination, the mistakes, and the racecraft. Yeah, no, that's for sure. Right now, it's definitely a, a sprint with how many laps? Six? No. Seven? I think they may be going 20 minutes. Yeah, we'll oh, be going, going 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. we're going okay. 20 minutes. And these guys, listen, I can tell you, most of these guys, they're riding 330s a day yeah. at, the, at the compound. So I don't think that's it. Oh, the number 47 machine sidelines uh. here. Yeah. So back down into that gator pit. As you can see, multiple line choices down there. Again, back up on the gator back itself. Multiple lines up there as well. And through this time around, what's Romano turn? Another 147 consistency. Uh, LeBlanc in the 146s. Ooh. And Gavin. And uh, Jaden Clough in there. You know, I've been around Tower since he was on 50cc machines. He come through the dealership for years. Uh, that kid, he has had this same kind of tenacity, man, since, since he was on 50cc auto bikes. Up and over the Gators' head right now go our leaders. And uh, 20 minutes in this one, 20 minutes at the, flag, at the is, flag is what it is. So 20 minutes at the flag. And starting to see a little separation in some of those lap times as we move back outside of that top five. How are we looking as, as our uh, metal standings, Jet, there on the far right-hand side? Oh. Can you read that one with that glare on it? Not really. <laughs> I can't see it. Yeah, it looks like for how they're sitting right now, it looks like Nick Romano's got the overall, Matt LeBlanc in second, Gavin Towers in third. Uh, Chance uh, he threw it away a little bit in that first lap when he went down. Uh, he's back to fourth overall. Yeah, so basically as we run on the track is your potential podium standings right there. Lots of racing left in this one, as we said, 20 minutes to the flag. I'm not sure how the points will play out, but if Chance could get a few more people. He may uh, move up a little bit. I got to tell you, Jet, it's been incredible weather all week long here. Yeah. Our coldest day was just about 62 degrees. And as you know, man, that's good for the bike. That's good for the body. You know, everybody does well in those cooler temperatures. Nothing in the eights at all this week. No really? 80 degrees whatsoever. And this track absolutely took a beating. It looked like somebody after a Mike Tyson fight. But I have to tell you, <laughs> each and every night, Brad, Brian, the entire track team, they sculpted this thing. They put it back together. And every day we had a brand new race surface to deal with. It's been absolutely incredible. Yeah, no, every every video I've seen of the track so far these uh, this week, it's looked uh, prime every time. It looks like they just got the halfway, and uh, Matt or, uh, Nick Rano actually just threw it on his, his next best lap with a 146.8. Yeah, Jack, it looked like the cross flags. I had a little bit of a glare here, so, you know, halfway through this one, and what are we looking at? Uh, we got five laps in. Out on lap number six now, so potential uh, maybe 11 laps here, depending on whether we pick the pace up or not. Yep. I have to tell you, both of you guys, many times this week, 
last lap, second to last lap, fastest lap of the race. Yeah, you know, and passes and are made too. That it looks like everyone's kind of finding their flow right now and getting to the point where they can start sizing everybody up for what the next position they're going to take away. Yeah, because we're used to seeing some sprints right now. And uh, let's see, right now, we need Tace Morgan to the office, please. Tace Morgan to the office immediately. But everybody, uh, it, it's so hard to pass, as we know, when you're evenly matched. As Jet knows, you know, when you get back there, uh, third, fourth place, and you're running the same lap time, but you've given up a straightaway, that straightaway is not going to go away as long as you're doing the same lap time. Yeah, and no, exactly. Everyone, uh, everyone nowadays is so close in speed, it's literally you're looking for tents everywhere nowadays. So trying to make a pass, you either have to run it in deep or have to have to hope for a mistake. Yeah, and you know what? These guys probably hear me. I'm like a broken record. Look at this thing starting to heat up, Jack. Heat Tell up, us what's yeah. going on, bro. Uh, it looks like uh, Nick actually got a good gap, and uh, then it's it's Matt, Gavin, and Jaden all oh, battling out. Wow. And Matt just went right next to him. It's going to be a four-way battle here soon. Man, one whip oh, left, LeBron one whip right. Whoa, it. Jet, did you catch it? What happened there? Yeah. Holy cow, they work yep. their way up over that last hip. Here we go, back down into Gator this Falls, This is about Jack. to get real. <laughs> it's about to get real. <laughs> Again, spicy. Well, I tell you what, it hasn't got chippy yet this yeah. week. I mean, yeah. these guys have raced elbow to elbow and yet yeah. uh, to see a brake check or a, a takeout or a stick. So yeah. it, Chance looks like he's going in for a, a bit Chance of a also stick. looks like he's using a lot of tear-offs out there. Hopefully he has <laughs> enough. Yeah, that's, that's been an issue. And as well, uh, the transitions, too, with the shadows on this track. Yeah. So, uh, you know, a big deal Especially having proper vision. Looks like Gavin actually got a little lucky and uh, pulled a tiny bit of a gap. And, oh, and, oh chance, chance goes right by both of them. <laughs> wow, got a twofer right there, fellas. Yeah. How about that? Set him right up. Let's see if he can hold it. Yep, he's around the outside of Matt. Let's uh, see if he gets on a roll now. You know, the track keeps changing from the insides working to the outsides working, from the insides working. That right now, momentum's your favor. That yeah. puts Chance into third overall and moves Matt LeBlanc down to fourth. All right, that, that changes our medals uh, standings right there. Jack, give us a rundown on potential medals. So right now, it uh, looks like Nick in first still, holding strong, and then Gavin Towers in second, Chance Hymas in third. Yeah, so this one ever-changing right now, and uh, a few more laps of racing. We just saw the halfway flags a moment ago. And I'll tell you what, like you guys said, this one's about to get real. We're live on RacerTV.com. And Jed, how about you that out? You see our camera shots right above you. A great job by our TV crew this week, Jed. They've yeah. been on point. No, it's uh, always been like a really good play lately uh, on the camera. It's been awesome to watch. They always get the good stuff. But we'll be in the gym at uh, 83 Compound, and we're just watching the motos going crazy with everybody uh, working out. And, uh, it's actually been pretty good to, to have the, the TV and everyone racing. Jack, check them out. Back down into Gator Falls. Here we go up over the Gator's head and the Gator's back. Right now, starting to get uh, a little bit of breathing room in these top three right here. Looks like Romano, as you said, what was the gap last time around? Chance Hyman is actually moving to second overall now. Yep, Gavin Towers back to third overall. Chance, uh, when he moved into that third position the last lap, he moved up to second overall, so I wonder if he'll put on a little uh, heat in there. I'm not sure what the first, yeah. the first moto orders were, but if Chance could, could get Gavin, he may actually move into that overall position. I'm not sure what, how they set out in that first moto, whether they went 1-1 one, one or 1-2, one, but he could play out good because Nick's got a good gap on him right now, but he could make a little mistake and he could be right there. Exactly, and when he made that pass, Jet, he made sure it stuck. He held it on long enough, didn't he? Yeah. He put a real charge for a half a lap there and separated himself. Wanted to secure that position to turn any future challenges. Yeah, he put the boost on. That's <laughs> <laughs> so We're only on lap seven here. We have uh, probably two or three more laps to go, and it's a good race of you can definitely see Chance is pushing now. Yeah. He's, the light switch went on. He can see Gavin. Yeah, he, he can see him, and then Gavin can also see Nick. So I'm not sure if, if he's, if he's going to go for it for this last photo, but Nick's got a solid ride going. The people hear me say it, Jeff, but you tell them. 
man, oh man, when you get on the same section, okay, when, when you can see him in the next corner, that's one thing when you're 14th and you know you have to come from behind Ryan said, man, we just hit mid-season, couldn't, couldn't buy a start. I know oh, you were no. looking, I saw you were posting ads online, anybody got a start for sale, uh, yeah. I'll buy it. And, uh, oh, no, look. trust me, I was, I was on <laughs> Facebook market, eBay, I was looking at it. He's trying to steal one from me, but I... Oh, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, when when you finally get up there and you got a visual on them, now you got a beat on them, crosshairs, yeah. you smell blood in the water, all the difference in the world. Second life, new life for that race. Oh, one hundred percent. When you can see your competitor right in front of you, you just get this uh, almost like a second bit of wind in you, and you just yeah, you smell blood in the water. And you go yeah. out there, and it's obvious with Chance right now, and you pointed it out when he went by. Yeah, you can uh, definitely see, see in his body language that it's going uh, a lot more aggressive now. <laughs> Let's see what he can do. His gap looks like it looks like it hasn't changed much, but it, it, it looks like he was two sec, two point three seconds back when he comes across the finish line the second time. We'll see what what he can make up. But sometimes that's the case. The gap doesn't change much, but you see the energy going in. You oh, see yeah. the body we'll English, absolutely, my man. This is everywhere they put a little bit more extra effort in. A little sauce, a little, little extra sauce, a little extra down. sauce on yeah. it. <laughs> hey, speaking of uh, the Jets, and you got to try one yeah. of these. These babies. He's going in James. Hey, wait a minute. We need this. We need this on camera. He's going in James Mini Donuts right here. Is the Jetson. And I can tell you this. You took a picture with my 12-year-old daughter at the Iron Man with a donut. She went absolutely nuts. So, Jane, I don't know if you know it or not, but the most famous donut eater in the world right now, the most famous donut famous That's donut taster in the world. That's good. <laughs> so we, we actually just got the line down there before this moto, and we didn't think we were going to be able to take it. So we're going to try to eat some while we're announcing. But My man. <laughs> I love it. He said that's great stuff. So, Jane, the world's most famous donut eater, gives you two thumbs up on it. So. All right, Jack, what's happening now? Uh, Jen Thomas is still in second overall. He actually lost a little bit of time that last lap. He was 2.3 seconds behind Gavin. Now he's 2.5, 2 but he's still there. Gonna be seeing that white flag soon, I gotta think, fellas. Next lap or so, gonna be seeing that white flag come out. We're gonna see who's got it left in the tank. And I, I, like I said, Jet, I, I don't think any of these guys, the conditioning's a real issue in our top five, top 10. These guys, every day at the compound, they're all living in a compound somewhere, they're all doing it. And uh, if there's one thing they're conditioned to do, it's motos. Definitely, and Aiden yeah. Shive, actually, back in six, he's, uh, he trains the H3 compound as well with us, and uh, yeah, he's actually riding really good. He just came from the B class this past year, and this is his first race in A, and he's, he's holding strong. Listen, Jack, you know as well as I did, that guy's always in it, oh, okay? He's 100%. He's a gamer, man. I'll tell you what, I don't care if it's 13th place or up front, as we've seen him at Loretta's or something before. He's that guy brings him in. He'll send it. He, oh, yeah. he brings everything to the table. That's for sure. Awesome. Hey, big words right there from the champ. So as this one winds down, things not changing much in that gap up front with Romano. He makes his way past one more time. He works his way up and out of the pit. Are we going to see the white flag? The flagger has it in his hand. Is it going to come out? No, not this lap. Looks like it may be two more. Yeah. What's our lap time looking like, Jeff, for the leader? Leader right now is putting down a 148 flat. We got uh, Gavin doing a 148.8. Uh, same with uh, Chance, so they're pretty close right now in lap time, Chance and uh, Gavin. Jack, we have seen that so many times this week. Oh, yeah. the, the, the top three lists and on the same second, you know, 148, 148, 148. Oh, yeah. Separated by a half lift. And that's the tail of the table. White flag out now. Yeah, I, I think they may have missed, uh, missed, they missed Romano. That and uh, yeah. Mr. Romano, maybe missed the first few guys, but. Bottom line is, we'll see Jason Jack checkered next time Jason around. The that's checker. the one that counts, right, Jack? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I kind of was expecting it, so uh, we had our timing right. You may get a little flustered when you come around and see all you see is the checker, but yeah. you know, no. Uh, hey, I don't think he'll object. No, yeah, I don't I think he'll mind, do you? Right now. <laughs> when you have front, you want that uh, checker flag to come as soon as possible, that's for sure. Especially with these long motors, they feel like they go forever. Well, i got to tell you, Jeff, what do you take away from this? Uh, I think uh, I'm taking away the, the track prep. Really, I've <laughs> yeah, man. time. I want all, I want all the races to look like this. Uh, sick. 
got awesome moisture in it. It uh, looks like a fun race. And, and this is no accident. You know you've raced all over the globe, all over the world. And this, it, it took years. You, you know, we made this soil. The soil didn't happen. Yeah, you know, it was exactly. blended. Uh, there's, there, there's some topsoil. There's clay. There's sand in it. And uh, there goes our leader right now, Mono yeah, Romano. The finish line. He's bring got it home, this Jack Chambers. Yeah, bring it home, Jack Chambers. Jonathan Towers in second, Chance Hamas in third, and uh, Nick Romano is your 258 champion. Boys, kills up there in the booth with you. I got to tell you, thanks. Uh, Big round up the top ten, Ethan Lane. Thanks, Dean. I appreciate it. These guys doing a fantastic job up here. And uh, I tell you, Mikey Waynes, we have no lack of replacements this week. I tell you, me, you, Rodney, West King, we've all been put on notice. As uh, soon as Jet's done uh, uh, with the riding, yeah, he, he's just going to go ahead and take your seat. Jack's going to take mine. Uh, so I got to tell you. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, and you know what? I, I consider that a compliment for sure, being replaced by those guys, definitely.